something. You already know. Popping. Ain't no stopping me now, steady rocking. Watch them hate on me now, cause I'm locked in. Watch the hate on me now, cause I'm popping. I ain't stopping. And the New York Giants are the Super Bowl champs. What's going on, sports fans, football fans, Giants fans? Welcome back to an episode of G Nation Inside Sports with my boy Alex, Big Blue in the Bronx. And uh, we both have opposing views on how this draft should go, but we both are fans of the same team. So we're going to try to see if two opposing opinions can come together for the greater good of the team and uh, make this team leaps and bounds better than what we've seen in the last decade. So come along with us for this little draft journey real quick, and let's see if we can make this situation better for our team. What's going on with you, Alex? Yeah, what's up, Lou? Uh, it's always it's always great to be on. And, uh, you know, we were talking the other day about doing a mock draft. We were talking about our views. And, uh, you know, with that being said, we you said it. At the end of the day, we want what's best for the team. Of course, that's in opposing views. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, mock drafts are always fun to do. But uh, we'll see how actually the draft plays out later next month. Yeah, less than a month away, actually. Uh, we'll be there. You should come, man. You got to come. You got to come. I know you came to the Giants-Jets game. That was awesome. We had a good time, even with the uh, Uno debacle between Pat and, and your buddy there. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That was that was, that was was an all-timer. That was that an all-timer. Was was... Uh, Jacob, what's going on? Ghost Dog. Nimmer, I see you. I was just in Jersey in October at the Giants game. You didn't show up, Nimmer. We was there. Alex was there. Get to my Lou. You should come tailgate at the Giants games. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to... Do some. Well, we're trying to do some other plans this season, but I will not say. Yeah, yeah, we'll 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 definitely be there. Running, we we discussed it already. Yeah, we're going. Yeah. Um, health and wealth to all. Thank you, Tommy, Coach Ed. Thank you very much. Yeah, happy Easter to y'all. Okay, I don't celebrate um, that Babylonian holiday, but to the people that do, right. happy Easter. Yeah, to the people that celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is like, okay, that was from left field. <laughs> Just a bit outside. <laughs> What's up, Coach Ed Tommy? My bro, Lou Snitcher. Yeah, waiting on Alex. Nah, because I know what Tommy was doing. Tommy's Boricua, too. So he's like, oh, we, we are Puerto Rican time, CP yeah. time, Caribbean people time. What's up, Jacob? Guys, please hit the like button. Thank you, Nimmer, Coach Ed, Tommy. All right. All right. So, what y'all? Oh, I didn't put the uh, link in there for uh, the rest of the big blue crew if they wanted to uh, stop being after the draft. You want to use? You want to uh, use the simulator you used to? Yeah, NFL mock draft database. All right, just pull it up and then uh, share it, and I'll put it on the Gotcha. Screen. Let me do that on my end. All right, draft simulator. We're doing all 32 teams in the first round. Are we doing a Giants one first? Oh, man, I just – I don't I don't care about the other 31 teams. You know? All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I just do the oh, Giants. See. All right, let's see. Draft uh, all seven rounds. Okay. So it's on pause, and I will share the screen. Let's see. What up, NYG? All right. Oh, Coach. Hey, coach, what's uh, up? If you want to hit uh, control and plus, I mean, uh, what is it? What's up, fellas? How are you? Yeah, what up, coach? Hope all is well. Damn. To make it bigger. Oh, oh yeah. Let me, let me see if I could just make it a tad bit bigger. Uh, it's a way of doing this. No, you just hit uh, control and plus. Oh, control and plus, yeah. Yeah, for some reason it's not working on my end. 
Oh, oh there it is. Command. It was Command Plus. Is this better now? Yeah, I can see it good. Okay. All right. Give me. Let me know when to start. Give me one second. Yeah, no problem. Okay, here we go. Stream on both my channels. There we go. Okay, guys. I'm with you now. All right, awesome. Uh, I'm just waiting on uh, Sir Lou here. Though, realistically, I mean, we we could start it and just get to six, but again, I will I will wait on Lou's word. Mm -hmm. No problem. Whatever you guys do when I'm here, you know, whatever. You know, if y'all need film, tell me. I'll try and bring up film on guys for you. Whatever y'all want. Oh, good. All right. All right. Coach Ed is prepared, as, o as always. Yeah, I got, I got this stuff, game film on... Pretty much almost everybody, all the quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, tight ends, O-line, D-line, edge, linebackers, cornerbacks, safeties. Okay. Well, I, I know kickers. Tommy. Hmm? Kickers. I know Tommy, he, he was mentioning about trading back. He also said to go to a, uh, his suggestion, at least, is go to 11 and, and take Byron Murphy, uh, the defensive tackle from, uh, was it, I think it's Texas. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I would oppose that honestly because I think there's a lot of nice defensive tackles in the later rounds. Um, Braden Fisk is a guy that a lot of people like, and myself mm -hmm. included. Um, mm -hmm. Justin Iboigbe from Alabama, mm -hmm. he's another guy that I like. Uh, Rook Ohoro from Clemson, he's another guy. So, there's a couple of good defensive tackles. Um, I mean, you don't need like an, an, an apps. I can't say that you don't need an absolute stub. You need somebody who can, you know, plug and play the run really nicely. And, you know, I just don't think we have that right now. And I know they have faith in Jordan Riley and all the other guys, but well, uh, Ashawn Robinson is a big, uh, is a big void. Well, um, as far as drafting a DT, I mean, whether it's Murphy or you can go later in the draft, if you trade back to that 11, actually you're going to get 11 and 23 and maybe – another draft pick later in this draft, or even if you want to push it out to the next year, depending, but you're still yeah. picking up an ex extra draft pick. And at 11, if you move back there, I mean, heck, you can get a cornerback because there's going to be cornerbacks there, you, you know? Could. So, you know, I mean, but I get what everyone is saying. Either they want a quarterback or they want a rec receiver. The receiver, you know, but receivers, you still have some, they may not be, ready like Marvin Harrison Jr. and, and Neighbors and Adunze is yet, but you can develop a Coleman. You can develop, a, develop a, an Xavier Leggett to eventually down the road. I like Brandon Rice. Brandon Rice. I mean, I'm la I'm big on Lad McConkey. I know most people aren't. They look at him as a slot guy, but if you really study yeah. his film, the guy, no, the guy gets open, and it doesn't matter if he's inside or outside. He gets open, So and he catches the ball, so – you know, but that that's just me, you know, if it, if I'm trading back because I've yeah. been of that mindset of trading back and getting more draft capital because we have so many holes. Yeah, no, of course. Um, I mean, I through the whole process of this offseason, I've kind of like weighed every single option. Mm -hmm. uh, what's up to Dash, by the way? Hope all is well. Big Dash. Um, you know, I know, you know, speaking of trading back, and I know you really shouldn't play this game with quarterbacks, mm -hmm. um, but he has been big. Now, I don't know how you feel. Uh, he's been big on the Michael Penix train on Twitter. And, you know, if I think if you trade back, you could take him. I know that, you know, there's a lot of people say, you know, he's probably not going to be there at this pick or that pick. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm looking at and, you know, not necessarily probably wouldn't, wouldn't work out in real life. But if you're talking mock draft simulator, I think you could probably trade back with Minnesota and get their two get their two firsts and mm -hmm. maybe like a, a pick later on. You mm -hmm. could fill two needs in the first round, still have your second, maybe a later round pick, and then just give up, you know, maybe a pick swap within that. So I mean we have to obviously see. watch. Uh we obviously we obviously ah, have to watch uh Okay. So so you are okay with trading back a few spots. Yeah. No, I mean if I there's it depends who's on the board, though. It depends who's on the board. <laughs> who uh, who is the quarterback pick and, that you like? In making his a draft? pitch and change, okay. Um, 
there's I mean, personally, I wouldn't mind any of the top five. The one that I, w- I wouldn't pick Penix at six. I'm just saying that right now. Uh, I would not take Bo Nix at all. That's just my personal opinion. McCarthy, you could weigh out um, because I, I know that a lot of – six. He is, I think – now, if you're talking just on player alone, I don't think he's worth the sixth overall pick. But in if let's just say if you're the Giants and you really like McCarthy and you think that he could do some things and he's better than um, – He's better than uh, Daniel Jones and, and could develop to be better than Daniel Jones, and he's your guy, you take him at six. Well, I agree with you in terms of yeah. taking whoever, whether it's J.J. McCarthy, whether it is Penix. I mean, I get your yeah. point, but, you know, in the, in this draft, you also have to say, you know, if you're at six and you can't move back, you know, you have to also, you have to be honest with yourself. Do you think yeah. Penix is going to get past – is he going to get past Minnesota – Denver or the LA Raiders and to be honest with you I don't think he will so and at that point in time you have to do what you have to do and take him at that point in time just like there are people that say you need to move up and do whatever you got to do to get Caleb Williams or any of these other ones well yeah. the same thing stands for Penix that's if he's your guy, quarterback you, can't move, you know, gotta get him yeah you gotta get him and that and that's yeah. my whole thing so but yeah okay. you you can't you can't play games I'm sorry to cut you mm-hmm. off you can't play games so like that's why I love the envisionment. And again, no, not that it's real life, but in terms of pull the trigger or you don't, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I no. In real life, you have to just say, yeah. okay, we're getting this guy, mm-hmm. and that's pretty much that. Go but ahead. like, so what people think or may not know is it's very cutthroat. The draft is very cutthroat. These are Fortune yeah. 500. These are billion dollar corporations that want to win to put asses in seats and have ticket sales at the end of the day and sell merch and 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 oh, all of these other things that come attached with it Sorry. so it's very cutthroat they will trade in front of you they will do whatever to get the guy that they think helps them better suit those needs so i agree my out. thing is we you know a large portion of the fan base feels that we reached for daniel jones at six and yeah. feel that that's why he is the reason for all of the giants woes and 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 if i break my ankle sitting here doing this live it's daniel jones's fault and you know there, there's a huge <laughs> portion of the, of the fan base that that you know their son gets the cold and it's daniel jones fault so but i mean true he has played a part in this team sucking but the vast majority of that role has been due to poor offensive line uh lackluster coaching and uh, uh change up of offense after offense after <laughs> offense so you know it, it, it's been hand in hand the whole thing sucked it stunk to high heaven third, damn it i suck but um okay let's let's see how this plays out let's let's get it started all right so let's get this party exactly. started let's see how realistic this is shall we all right caleb williams drake may Jaden daniels all right that's what so, they said wrong with doing Jay. because marvin harrison jr is sitting right there i think i think our uh now i will say just a preface and then you guys could – I mean, the decision, in my opinion, is pretty cutthroat. Can't see you. Um, but Penix is at 36. And... Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me read this super chat real quick. Peace okay. and blessings to Big Boss Lou, Coach Ed, Alex on Luke's chair, and all diehard Giants fans across the pond. Happy Easter, everyone. Thank you, Tudo. Greatly yeah, appreciate Easter, it. Happy Easter, Coach. You have a happy Easter. Well, I should say Tudo. But, yeah. Um, Dash. Who else is there? Yeah. Uh, so in terms in terms of like draft picks, well, the board I was looking at the board right there. There you go. Yeah. I'll make so, it easier. Watch this. Bam, we're all gone. <laughs> oh, I, actually, that's a that's that's, like, that's, that's probably a lot better. That's actually a good strategy. Um, but uh, MHJ is there now. You could, and again, this is not real life, so you probably. Mm-hmm. Don't play the quarterback game of like, oh, let's see if he waits. But Marvin Harrison Jr., I will admit, is a generational talent wide receiver. So we grab him at six. You grab him at six. You grab Hell. him at six. All right, Alex, I knew I liked you for a reason. <laughs> He's crazy, Lou. All right. So let's see where we're at 47 now. I said at the beginning that we were of opposing views. He wanted a quarterback. I thought we should get a playmaker, a wide receiver in the Malik Neighbors or a Marvin Harrison. And the way it played out, it fell in my favor. 
and he didn't protest. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, Bo probably. Melton just went right before that. Uh, let me see. Uh, Max Melton. My, yeah. Ma wow. That sucked, man. In a second that round, sucks. 46. That sucks. And you have Bo Nix there. And I think you have Marvin Harris. I mean, Mike, you, know, you have both of them. Michael Penix. Problem I'm, uh, solved. I'm taking, I'm taking Michael Penix. Michael I like Penix. him better. Problem solved, folks. <laughs> Look at that. Of course. That's a win win. For the people who hate yeah. DJ and think we need a quarterback, there you go. We've got a playmaker, a generational talent, potential gold jacket guy at the end of his career. Marvin okay, Harris. It's going. And a quarterback. We do you want don't to need trade? the trade offers unless we want to. Um, all right, so here's where we are. This is the all column. Um, okay. trade offer, you said? Well, I mean, there was, a, there was a few, but we could also make our own trade offers. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people like Michael Hall from Ohio would... State. I'm not, I'm, t I'm gonna be frank, I'm not his biggest fan. Um, but there's a couple of the different guys. I mean, I know we need corner. We probably need some interior line at some point. Um, the guy I was talking about earlier, Ruko Horhoro, who's who would be very good next to Dex. Um, okay, we'll, we'll go back up. What about Braylon Trice? Because Trice actually can play inside and outside. And being that we are technically an odd front 3-4, he can play the 5. But you can also bump him inside to a 3-tech. Okay. But you can also move him to the outside also. So that's someone that's you true. also can consider too, you know, mm -hmm. for the defensive line. Because like you said, you know, we got to have somebody on the inside. So because um, what, what you call is not there, right? Uh, um, from Florida State, what's it, uh, Frisk? Damn, they tied the oh, game Braden and Frisk. load the bases. Shit. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's all right. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the same thing <laughs> as you. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Where did Fisk go? Uh, Devondre Swent went before Fisk. That's a little surprising. Uh, where the hell did he go? He went to Vegas before our pick. Okay, okay, okay. So he's off the board. So I know we're talking about interior. So you know, but we also need corner too. So it's like we a do. catch twenty two. We, uh, we could. In my opinion, we could probably you can find a we could edge it out till one oh seven because I happen to like DJ James. Um uh the, the hell was I gonna say? There was also interior O line, like I would like to get an interior O lineman, but I mean we could also wait till one oh seven because you're gonna have Zach Zinter who's probably there. And he's also rehabbed, mm -hmm. he's ready for full contact. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I kinda, so I I'm want to look at the trade offers and see where the chat is. Chat's head is on all of this before we make any further Let's decisions. See. Do they come up? Okay, so the trade offers, I guess, didn't come up from before. But, I mean, we could manually try to trade back. No, you go, go um, to offers. That's oh, yeah. Uh, this is garbage. Mm -hmm. That's garbage. Uh, mm. I mean, man, who do they want? I don't, I don't know. You're moving back 10 spots, picking up a, a seventh router, and you're getting a third and a fourth next year. Is that's that something to consider. That's something mm -hmm. to consider, but let's look at the see board. Another, okay. Know, 72 and around four. I mean, it's only two spots. I mean, it, but we're, you know, obviously in the moment of like, you know, this is one to kind of consider. And then, okay, so that's, okay, there's the last two trades. Mm -hmm. I yeah. would say, like, those are, you know, good to consider. What, what, what about the board first? Because right now, like I said, that's 10 <laughs> spots. So I yeah. look at, you know, I look at actually 11 to 12 players. Are there anybody yeah. in that range? So go ahead. Yeah, so I'll start, I'll start from the top. I mean, I don't know what anyone thinks of Junior Colson, but, you know, uh, we're looking at needs right now. So Michael Hall, again, I'm not his biggest fan. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruko Horhoro, he's, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty big on him. Mm -hmm. Um, we also need safety. Kalen Ooh. Bullock. And That's Cam uh, Kitchen, Bullock, yeah, yeah. Cam Kitchens, Bullock, Bullard. He says I wouldn't go for an already injured guard. <laughs> entertainer, uh, entertainer talking. Says, edge it out. Pause. 
But right now, we you, you there there's some value there if you want to take that trade. That's the point that I was looking at. Yeah, there is Which, some now. Um, it, but the question is, is there somebody ahead that you feel like you know what? I just can't lose out on him because you just yeah. talked about Bullock. Yeah, so Bullock is. I mean, I know me and Pat were talking about him. Like he, you know, he's a pretty good player. Mm -hmm. um, as far as D line, because I know we're also considering that. Uh, Dwayne Carter had a solid Senior Bowl uh, performance. Actually, got to play well against uh, Jackson Powers Johnson a few times. Um, we could. The problem is we don't have. I would say an early enough fifth to take like a Boyg Bay and Gabe Hall is also good too. So we could wait on that, but if the value is not going to be there, um, or at least the type of player isn't. So for me, it's between defensive line and safety. So do you, first of all, with the trades, if it's the Jets trade, are you, are you comfortable with that? And you're picking up, what is it? A, a fifth next year? It's like a, a fifth next year. I would take that. Okay. You'll take that one over Cincinnati. Yeah, because I mean, just to reference, like we do get a seventh, but which is you know we need a seventh technically, but like I mean, I I, ju I don't know, I just see more value in moving back two spots and collecting next year. Okay. That's just my okay. personal opinion. Okay, Lou, what's your thought? Is he there? Or he probably stepped away. So you're going to probably change trade with the Jets. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I see it. I see the logic. I mean, you know, so, I mean, go ahead with it. You know, I can't lie. I'm probably one who probably would have taken Cincy's because I saw other players that I valued. But, you know, is it really worth it? You know what? Let's take a little bit of a risk. I'm actually going to take your advice. Dash, dash. I understand. But we all just said it did according to the simulator. So you go with the simulator. All right. Rook is still there, and so is Kalen Bullock. Here comes decision making. <laughs> so, both of the ones you were talking about is there. So yes. So right now, I probably would say D tackle because we really need someone to put alongside Dexter, especially yes. with the movement and the trades. Now, let me let me let me let me see something out because I really didn't do much on. What's his size? What's Rook's Rook size? Actually, I could pull it up because I did see. a little scouting report on it. Let him. me see NFL. Uh, let's see. At least the time I, I did the scouting report, 6'4", 295. Okay, so he can handle a five or a three tech position. And do they have film on him? Let me take a look. I hate this damn I hate my hands, D line. The way I saw it, at least for my scouting report, is strengths, run defense, gap discipline, and he's yeah, very good there. with like blitzes and stunts, pass rush development upside, weaknesses, doesn't you know break out of I mean he would get double team, but also that's a good thing for us because you can't double team Dexter and Rook at the same time. Uh, just he needs to work a little bit more on his his pass rushing moves, but you could see like when you're watching the film and sample sizes, he's he's pretty uh, he's pretty solid, and he you, he could work up to be like a, a very very scary uh, interior pass rusher alongside Dexter Lawrence. Okay, I mean, I'm looking at him now. So I also want to see what other safeties are in the other rounds. Um, Tyke Smith isn't bad. James Williams is, uh, mm -hmm. is an impressive player. Mm -hmm. You got um, even Vika Vika from from what you call it from Utah. Yep. So you got, yeah. Um, so there's safety value there. I think, in my opinion, I would take D line. Yeah, I'm thinking um or, or, or horror. Oh, I can't say his name. Yeah, the, I'll or, just say call him Rook. I'll or horror. Rook. Horror. Yeah, a horror. Yeah, we'll, so. we'll, we'll call him. We'll call him Rook, but we'll take. Uh, we'll take the Clemson D lineman. So we're still. We have all A's. He wants to call when I go live. <laughs> phone didn't ring all day. The minute I go live, thirty phone calls. Jeez, Pat man. says James Matt Williams from Miami is a monster. No, he's he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Um, so did we trade? We move back to. You took Cincinnati's. Yeah, we, we took Cincinnati's, Cincinnati's, which was a move back. 
We moved back got, 10 picks and caught a seven. Yeah, and caught a seven, then two, two uh, third and a fourth for next year. Okay, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. All right. We have this trade offer. I don't know that I'd mm-hmm. want to take it. Because mm-hmm. forget that we spent two hundred and ten million in free agency just now. Yeah. So you, you, All right. damn, so, you have Isaac there too. Damn. But you have Hicks there. Go ahead with the safeties. I know you were looking at the safeties. Yeah, safeties, Jaden Hicks. Uh right. and then we got that's one oh seven. Good pick. And mm-hmm. I want to take a look at interior O line. I know this is a guy you love, oh, uh, Coach. Oh hell yes! Uh, but but uh, then again, I mean, you got Cole, Cohen is is still developmental, but he's not. I mean, yeah. I'm, I would be fine with him too. So, yeah, I know Giants like Isaiah Adams, and then like it goes Isaiah down Adams. from there. Yeah, it goes down from there. So, yeah, so you don't want to. So the I question think... is, do you want McCormick? Yeah. Or what about the running back spot? We're in what spot? We're at 107. Oh, damn, you got Ray Allen Lee. right there. Shit. Lloyd is still there. They won't Davis. Be there next round. There's a couple oh, nice Gorendo, Gorendo, Gorendo is still there at 147. Mm, it's pushing it because at 166. But we can also trade up if we wanted to. But we wanted to, yeah. I would take Gorendo. I say. Wait a minute. Uh, all right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, well, who's talking? I'm sorry. I say, I mean, Lou wants Braylon Allen. I say attack the interior line. This is my personal opinion. I know the Giants attacked it a lot in free agency with uh, Schlodman and uh, Aaron Sinney, but I think I think you're going to need to get a guard sooner. You're going to get no argument with me over McCormick. Man, so you know you get no argument from me there. McCormick. You like McCormick? Oh, I love McCormick. I love Mason McCormick, man. I, I like I, Isaiah Adams, but I do like McCormick. I've just seen more film on Adams than I have McCormick, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Let me see something. Yeah. Let me see something. Let me see something. I know uh, oh, Jim man. Nagy said that he regrets not giving McCormick a senior bowl invite. Mm-hmm. Pat says mm-hmm. we signed four offensive guards and an impact player right here. I mean, I don't disagree with you, but I mean, I like if we're talking Braylon Allen, is, is he sharing snaps? I mean, yeah, we got more. Look at the whole board. Look at the whole board right now. Let's see what's on the whole board. Because you got, you got, you got Isaac there. Woo-hoo. Hey, listen, listen. You got McMill in there. I mean, we don't. I mean, look, look, it, look, 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 hold up. You got Brandon Dora still there, too. A bit I mean, of a tweener, but you were saying, Lou? Yeah. Listen, you got Rook right there at 80. We got Dexter Lawrence. We got Kayvon Thibodeau and the dude that we just picked up, Brian Burns. You add Adisa Isaac to that group, brother? Top three defense. My thing mm. is, like, we do have, and I know sometimes, like that's a Chris. Thank you, a cornerback. That's a that's something mm-hmm. we gotta really look into. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> what what's his uh, Adisa Isaac? Most he actually cornerback. grew up like twenty minutes. He grew up like twenty mm-hmm. minutes from here. Mm-hmm. So he's a he's a New he's York. A New York leader, he's a New York boy. How bad this Giants defense needs to come back. Well, we need a corner, Lou. Yeah, we damn sure do. I I mean. You could go either Cam Hart or DJ James. Cam Hart's Who's more of an outside guy. Mm-hmm. DJ James, I happen to like. Uh, I think I said that he fits more of a... Yes, as Aziz might be going after this year. He is in his last year. Last right, future. but, I mean, you could always, you know, not that you would want somebody off the scrap heap, but, I mean, you're, you know, I and I get it. Isaac's a solid player but G said take Isaac he from Brooklyn <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 I'm looking at you know because it, yeah because I it's it's like a catch-22 what Jason do you do Braylon Allen Jacob says Isaac who's uh Alex who's lower in in the cornerback spot just just scroll down a little and bit says Isaac or oh, Allen uh because maybe. right now look at 166 a lot of these go. You might get one or two who slip, but I don't. Yeah, I voted, brother. Everybody saying Isaac over Braylon. Only you said Braylon. Pat said. Uh, Dash said Isaac. 
Pat said Isaac or uh, yeah, I'm Alex. good. I'm good there, Alex. Yeah, there's nobody there at cornerbacks. I'm looking at corner. Jack like I, I, I just I don't want to. And uh, listen, Isaac's a solid player. I'm not doubting that, but I don't want to stack up on a position where we have where we're hungry at another. Because as of as of this moment, we have not signed a number one or number two corner. True, indeed. We have a number one cornerback. I'm sorry. Adoree Jackson. Well, no. Well, no, Deontay Banks, but we don't Banks. have a number two. Well, you have what you call it. Um, they Did just. Adoree was a free agent. Adoree is a free agent. Um, you have what you call it. Pat was just talking about him. Damn, on on NYG stream. Um. We have McLeod? A, yeah, he was talking about McLeod too. McLeod I mean, did play well as a number two. And Bell, he, he did play well as a number two, but we got three safeties. No, four. Well, I mean, we we're got, talking about uh, we're talking uh, about cornerbacks right now. That's why. It, 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 and the question is, do you take like a Cam Hart or a DJ James right now? Hold on, guys. Hold on. So you mean mm-hmm. to tell me that you have no faith in Deontay Banks, Javarius Owens, uh, Cordell Flott, Dory Jackson? Javarius Owens is a he's, safety. We're talking yeah, about the cornerback safe, position. He's a safety. Yeah, number one, he's a safety. Number two, he's a seventh round pick. As for Flot, uh, a lot of people caught that he was, and that this could be just a wink thing, that he was not very much understanding of his own concepts and he could only play main coverage. That's why they resigned Darnay, because he's going to play, in, in my opinion, he's going to play in the slot, start the season. Mm-hmm. Darnay Holmes, you leave in the slot playing zone. He's very good at the zone. He's good at tackling and in run support. So I don't want him playing man to man because that's where he's not good. So, yeah, that's where you, you know, get a lot of holding penalties. Slot, uh, flot. Um, if he's on the interior and they try and they help him, because yeah, we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing zone a little bit more yeah. than we did with so Wing. We need a cornerback. So out of so, these three, which one do you like best, Alex? Um, I I have not watched. Uh, Luca. Wait, yeah. no, no, it wasn't you that, that, that it was Brian that did the scouting report on Cam Hart, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, never mind. Um. I, I'll, I'll take Cam Hart here. Do you want to see? He's, him? he's an outside okay. guy. Um, yeah, and also like Dash was talking about the the DBs we have. I mean, Trey Hawkins could. A lot of people think that he could transition to safety. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's the safety. So, I'm talking about he can still develop as a cornerback. You yeah, know? but I mean, again, but, catch twenty two is which with, with with Isaac. You know, I mean, because right now. After at, after the top two we have with um with um Burns and um Burns and um ugh, hello I'm not forgetting his name Tibbs thank you Thibodeau that should be easy damn it Coach Thibodeau with the Knicks duh all right well let's get Hart right here and see how it plays yeah, out I you. say. Cam Hart, it is uh, a sad passing on uh, Isaac, but we gotta we gotta attack corner here. All right, so our next pick is at one sixty six. We got three more picks to go, guys. Hit that thumbs up button and that like button. I mean, uh, that subscribe button. Don't be ninja watchers, man. Support the cause. It's absolutely free. It costs you nothing but a second to push that button and support the cause, man. Don't be a ninja watcher. We're trying to fix this team right yeah, here. Yeah, see that drop from 107 to 166 is a lot. Yeah. A lot of guys win. Um, and there goes Cohen, like I said before. Tommy Eichenberg. I mean, Tyke Smith is a safety. You, uh, you got some depth at safety. Mm-hmm. Um, Isaiah Adams, Adams is still, still there. Interesting. Um, you just got to look at what, the, in my opinion at least, what the – as far as the drop off, like what's more of a drop off? So we got Safety a wide receiver, or, cornerback, or defensive or line, and a cornerback right now. So yeah. what's the next position we think is of great importance right now? Because we attack I'm the thinking, interior. I'm thinking three positions for the next three picks, but again, you guys could def, de, you know def, have a difference. Uh, with my opinion, is interior O line, running back, and safety. We'll get to the running back first. I would I would have to agree with you on that, but the running backs that I like are gone, all gone. Dejan Edwards yeah. is, is uh, he should not be slept on in my opinion. The way I've watched him, 
And I know, Coach, I think you were talking about Cody Schrader before. Uh, Schrader we and February. Isaiah Di- Davis from South Dakota State. But, I think you, know, you might be able to wait till 237. That's just my personal opinion. 190. Jesus Christ. That'd be amazing. Okay, so go back to the interior offensive line. You got Cohen there. You got Isaiah Adams, who could play both inside and out. And what which spot are we at? We have 166, 166 and 183. So the question is, do you think, even if you go another position like running back, you like think, Cohen better than Adams? Who, me? I haven't really studied Adams enough. I've only seen Cohen. So, you know, he's okay. I'm not saying he's a game changer. I mean, I could be talking to Adams. So, goof, uh, two giant goofball. Cohen is good, needs to add strength, went to Alabama too. Okay. So, so the question my brother is, says he likes Cohen better. So what? What's your what did Alex? You said you've seen Adams. So talk to me about him. Um. Well, actually, I, I just asked my brother who did both scouting reports uh, for Cohen and, and Adams before he went to uh, before he went to Bama. Um, uh, Adams is a little bit more versatile, but Cohen is the better player. I agree. Dash good pass rush does help the second. Mm-hmm. I don't deny that. Yeah, but we've but, been. I think with the defensive guys that we've added, um, all we need them to do is start playing together and and, and get that cohesion, and that that will uh, fix itself. I, I think we have a damn Let's, good defense on paper right with, now. Okay, with with the guys that we brought in in free agency, and don't forget we have um, Azudu and I mean, with Keith and probably mm-hmm. is going to be cut, but you know we still do go technically six deep at guard right now. So that's the other thing. Do we think that Cohen is better than Azudu or Makita? I mean, that, I would say definitely better than Makita. I would say definitely mm-hmm. better. Um, so but now the question is, that are we keeping six deep at guards? Because we have how many guards right now on the roster? Six. I think we have six. Yeah. So I'm looking at, are you including center or just guard? No, I'm just talking guard, interior uh, okay, guards. So you have Stinney, that's one. Runyon, that's two. JMS is going to be a beast this year. Watch what I tell you. Mm-hmm. You have McKeithen, three. It's you have true. Mayfield, four. And Azudu, five. JMS is going to take that tech- second year step that we were hoping. Oh, and what you going to call it? Um, J.E. Yeah. Uh, Jermaine. What's his name? Jermaine. Luminor. He can play either way, so. Yeah, but I guess you're gonna you're gonna slot him for a tackle right now. I'm, I'm yeah. telling you that John Michael Smith is gonna take that second year leap that we were hoping Evan Neal would, and this line is gonna be a lot better because of the center play alone. So, who do we have behind at center also? Behind uh, uh, we have Jimmy Morrissey, who was formerly of the Texans and the Raiders. Uh, we have Austin Schlodman, who we signed from the Vikings. Okay, so we have backup. So okay, then I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, we're not concerned. So the question is, do we go there? Do we go running, running back? What's the other position you said? Uh, safety. Oh, let's look at safety. You then. might be able. To, uh, well, this one's tough. Because will one of those two get down to one eighty-three? Yeah, I don't think yeah. so. Left. You said what running backs? I think you have um, you have I think yeah you have one yeah you have a couple. Lob uh, was very Johnson impressive. Isaiah Davis will be there. I mean Dijon Edwards, Dijon Edwards, Schrader. Is, uh, I think you can wait on running back. Yeah, you can wait on running back. So I think it's down to safety interior O line. Personally, me, I'm down to go interior O line, and I know that maybe a lot of people see that as like you know the Giants are probably not gonna. Probably not going to draft into your lemon, but lemonade with lemons. Save, save, let me see. Safety, so far, safety is know. safety is Owens is um, Belton. It's Mills and Pinnock. Mills and Pinnock. Let's look at the safety. Are we comfortable? Are we comfortable with those safeties right now? Whoever says that's, uh, that's why I think you could take maybe one of these guys at one eighty three. Take Smith. Hmm.
Mm, Murphy said that the trade pick design. Oh, wait, no, he votes for safety. And you can also get offensive line, but after those top two, the drop off is there. It's the same with safety, too. It's very similar. As I said, I favor the interior line, but I will, I will, uh, I will, you know, obviously Lou wants safety. Coach, what do you think? I'm always with the sexy fatties. If I have, if I have, a, if I have, a, if I have a, a tie, I always, I always, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a homer. I go, go with the go sexy center. fatties. Look at the linebackers. He linebackers okay. Uh, Eichenberg, Tommy, Eichenberg, Traven Wallace, Jalen well, Ford. Me, yeah. With our linebacker deck right now, behind. Um, so you have. You have Okarake and McFadden. Those are your starters. Behind them, you have Deontay Johnson, who was a UDFA last year. You have Carter Coughlin, who's a special teamer. And you also uh, you also have Darian Beavers, mm. who's coming off an Achilles, right? Yeah, and he 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 played one game last year, I think, on special teams. That's it. So we need a linebacker. Good call, Ghost Dog. Mm-hmm. I I'm gonna say Eichenberg right now because you why well, he can definitely play the linebacker and he's gonna help on special teams also because that's the other okay. thing too. I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, good call, good call, Osto. Yeah, good linebacker. School. Y'all got me to go away from the bit sexy fatties. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, you agree, Lou? Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, we we gotta have uh, I mean, depth I can in the linebacker position. Can't, we got yeah, all A's so far, so we got, a, we got a 4.0 GPA, I think, if you count all the A's. All right. Free no. Ride to baby. Free ride no. To <laughs> wait a minute. No. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back to the first one. Which one? The first very one? first one. Uh, was it this what one or this one? You're moving back one spot and picking up a seventh next year. All right. Let's, let's look take at it. the board. Look at the board. Oh, okay. You t- and nothing changed. And... <laughs> For, Nothing changed. No. Yeah, they wanted some guy from Charlotte. Okay. And you apparently he's, he's really solid, but again, we don't. We're not really going that route. Uh, Vaki is still here. You know what's funny about Vaki is he could play running back. Yeah, not that you drafted. He, he did play running back at um Utah. I forgot about that. And uh, I'm guessing Same interior line. Like sexy fatties, as coach calls them, huh? Mm-hmm. Sexy Not fatties. a fan of the interior. Uh, and then what was the other safety? Safety and then running back. Running back is basically the same. Yeah, the, I think the, safety. Did the offensive line change? What was the interior O line? Yeah, yeah Cohen and uh, Adams went. Mm-hmm. I knew they were going to go. I figured. So I'm thinking safety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bucky. Bucky. All right, let's take the uh, you co- coach you down with this. Mm-hmm. All right, running back slash safeties, core special teamer. Sion we got we got a three tech dash. Rook or Horhero. Mm-hmm. He can play five or three. All right, so our next pick. Thank you to that trade earlier, two thirty-seven. Go to all real quick and see who's the He's staying there. Yeah. He has it on. I'm watching it. All right, and we are here. Okay, uh, Isaiah Davis is Ooh. right in our hands. Yeah, Grayson Murphy is as the edge, the twin. De- uh, Dejan Edwards is a guy I really mm-hmm. like. Um, and th- I think it's between those three, in my opinion. Like, I don't really, I don't really know. I mean, Matt Lee from again, the, we we O line took a big drop. Mm-hmm. Um, Schrader is still here at good value, so yeah, I'm down for UDFA. running back. Okay, Lou, what are you down for? Let me see. Go go down slower a little bit. Let me see who's left. Sure, I agree. Yeah, I Zay David, yeah, I like him. I've always liked him. Yeah, I take the running back Isaiah Davis. All right, so that let's see if we get all A's, and we do. 
I think you got to get a. If you went Murphy, you still would have got an A. True. Because it's good. Because they also tested on value. So we got MHJ. Now, did we, we got two juniors or what? I would say we did a pretty damn Rocky good job. Davis, all A pluses. Uh, Cam Hart, Tommy Eichenberg, Sion Vaki, and Davis. I mean, I, I like I like the addressing of the cornerback position because whether or not Hart's a starter on day one, I mean, give McLeod just to fill in for a little bit. I mean, mm-hmm. You don't need him to be a starter long term. So, and I know no edge. I get it. I understand. I, I'm but, not. But I mean, I know the chat's very, uh, very. You know, you also have to look at what you did. You also, as far as next year. We loaded up on draft picks for next year, too. Because I yeah. think we picked up, what, three or four for next year? It yeah, we sure. picked up a three, a four, a the Miami trade. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, so a three, a four, and a seven. Scroll mm-hmm. up to the top. It'll show you what we picked up for next year. Okay. Oh, no. Um, no, it's yeah, not it's showing. Really... Unless you save it. Do you have to save it? Um, I mean, I'll save it anyway. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, I think it does. Go up. Let's add out of here. Right there. So we got a three, six. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Uh, a three, a four, and a seven for mm-hmm. 2025. Mm-hmm. So the Giants will be contenders in 2025. That's, That's the way. Yeah, you I know. know. You could, Go ahead, Alex. I'm sorry. You no, know, sorry. I mean, you could even, like, try. I mean, Pedix. Probably needs to sit, but you could still. Th- I would. I would be totally okay with this because, you know, obviously I don't have the highest hopes in Daniel for Daniel Jones, but you don't have to worry about you know draft position and winning you know meaningless games or all that other stuff with the draft position in general next year because, at least at this rate, you could take BPA. Mm-hmm. Depending You're on how the team does. And you starting to fill holes for the long run, so. You know, so next year, even if one one or two here in the back end doesn't work out, you still have yeah. capital next year to refill those as well as address some smaller holes. And if you want to make trade to move up for somebody who you feel will really take the team over the top based on how the team does this year, you have all the capital. Because you, I think yep. we would have, what, probably seven? We have, what, seven or eight next year? Plus three, so that would give you ten to eleven draft picks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and I mean, if you add in a comp, and what if Brandon Brown gets hired? That's mm-hmm. like two right there. And you mm-hmm. have a solid foundation already set in place for whoever you're drafting next year. You'll have your your backup quarterback who's sitting this year, Michael Penix, uh, getting ready to take over the reins next season, barring an injury for Daniel Jones or just a very horrible season. Um, Penix would be riding the pine and then learning the schemes and everything. And, and then next yeah. year would be competing for our starting role. Um, so that, that would set us up to be vastly better for the foreseeable future rather than this atrocious play we've been watching for a decade now. Exactly. Exactly. And you know what? Next year, I mean, I know he's on a two-year con- You could, I think – Based on this, you could probably either – I don't know that there's there's cap available next year, but you could probably do either interior line or tackle in the first round mm-hmm. because I think it's going to probably go on that uh, Evan Neal decision. And don't forget, push comes to shove. Then next year, if you have to, you actually can move Evan Neal inside at that point in yeah. time. You've seen enough time, seen enough from him. You know, literally uh, two and a half years by that point in time, he's gone through two coaches. So, you know, he's been given the knowledge. So now it's just, well, if he can't do it at tackle physically, not mentally, physically, then you can go ahead and say justify. You know what? We've seen enough. We can move him inside. That helps you in the guard. So then, all right, you got to look at a tackle. Yeah, we drafted Cam Hart from Notre Dame. Uh, um, Who asked that question? Mosley. Yes. Yeah. Cam Hart, cornerback from Notre Dame. Um, the hell was I going to say? But yeah, no, I mean, I think I personally think not that this would be like, you know, realistic. I think you should start cross training or at least having Evan Neal get familiar with the guard Mm -hmm. position, because if he's not playable at tackle, 
I mean, you you kind of don't want him. You do, but you don't want him learning on the run during the season. This guy's a bum. I see what you're talking about, Coach. Yo, yeah, man. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh my gosh. Let me, let me not. Let me go there. Let me not go there with this guy. Oh. This is about Giancarlo Stanton. Huh? He's talking about. He's talking about the, the Yankee oh, game. Gosh. Oh. But yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in for this uh, quick mock draft. We're part of the Big Blue Crew Sports Network. Y'all know what it is. Make sure you go subscribe to Coach Ed Amazing, Coach Ed Gladney, Amazing World of Sports. And make sure you go subscribe to Big Blue in the Bronx, your boy Alex right here. And uh, check out the rest of the Big Blue Crew Sports Network members, man. Go give them a like and a sub. All of them make great content, man. I know I've been out of the mix for a while going through everything I was dealing with, but that is gone and done and over with. So, you know, moving on, new chapter. Back focused on my content, so let's get it. No, I'm not going live for the next game. I'll be watching it, but I'm not going live. But uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. Hit the like button. Share this video on your social media platform so people can recognize the type of work we're putting in here behind the scenes for Giants fans and sports fans in general. And catch me next week on Leather to the Face Saturday night. For the boxing and the UFC, you already know what it is. I was feeling under the weather yesterday, so I didn't get to call the Isaac Pitbull Cruz fight like I wanted to, but I did predict, predict it accurately. I said he would knock Roley out, so um, it went the way I said. But uh, you guys got anything you want to say before we close it out? Let's fix this team. Yeah, yeah. that's not it. Facts. Um, based on this today, though, y'all did a, did a great job. Alex, a little phenomenal I'm job. I'm tired of wearing a four Super Bowl hat. I need a five and six Super Bowl hat. You know what I'm look, saying? Look, look, look. When are y'all going to learn the truth? We're not four. We're not going to five. We're going to nine championships. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, we we have the third most championships in all of professional football history, only okay. behind um, Green Bay and Chicago. Yep. That's it. You know, everybody everybody wants to get rid of this. Everybody wants to get rid of everything before the Super Bowl era. Well, no. These guys are in the Hall of Fame. I'm sorry. We, we, yeah. they, they're part of the Pro Football Hall, Hall of Fame. They're part of Pro Football history. Yo, know, we got eight championships. I'm sorry. And that's what I'm sticking by. Everybody else can say whatever they want. Thanks. So we're the number one team in the NFC East. Sorry. Sorry, Dallas. Sorry, Philly. Sorry, Washington. Sorry. Y'all got to catch us. No, y'all got to catch us. I'm sorry that we're just so good that y'all haven't been able to catch us. So I'm going to leave it like that. But until next time, man, y'all know what it is. Thank you very much. Ain't no chat, no right to this action. All my f***ers in front of these captains. You already know. Popping. Ain't no stopping me, man. Steady rocking. Watch them hate on me now because I'm locked in. Watch the hate on me now because I'm popping. I ain't stopping. Hey.